Okay, and welcome back. So, after some long waiting, uh, on my part that is, um, I have a new thing to open. And yeah, like I said, it's been a long time. I've been waiting for these since the beginning of the year. And three of the four have turned up. I believe there's a delay with one of them. So, without further ado, can you guess what's inside it? Yep, that's right. It's Sea, sea of Thieves U2s figurines. Yep, I am very excited to see these. And I've seen people been getting them on the Twitter and I've not been jealous in the slightest. Let's have a look. Let's see what we can do here. Well, they work for now then. Come on. Come on. Come on, you can do it. There we go. There we go. Get that out of the way. <laughs> okay, let's open all three. This is going to be quite a short one because most people either aren't bothered in collecting things like this, or if you are, you really need to just see how they look. And why is that got a skelly on the side of it? I'm hoping this is Briggsy. At least it's supposed to be Briggsy. Come on, you can do it. There we go, it is Briggsy. There we go. So, as you can see, we have a Briggsy. We have Ghost Ship. And we have Megalodon. I have all of the previous ones. Check my video for that. And if you do like these videos, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps. Thank you very much. So, like I said, unfortunately, the gold hoarder is not coming. Not yet, anyway. Uh, I have messaged you twos to just see if we can have an update. Um, but they've not replied yet. So, I'm going to start with... I'm going to start with Briggsy. I'm going to open these up and have a look at them. Because I am really excited to see these. <sighs> Trying to do it without damaging the box. I like the way they've come in these hard plastic hard cases. That's uh, well, not hard cases, but you know what I mean. Plastic cases. Um, is this going to be one of them that comes all out, or is this going to be one that I have to? No, I think I have to open it. Come on, I don't want to break the boxes. There we go. <laughs> I just really want to kill you. <laughs> the feeling was mutual, Briggsy. While we were playing that level. Oh, wow. So there is a there is an inner box, which I thought there was. I'm not sure how it comes apart from the outer box, though. Um, I don't want to damage it while well, it's stuck inside. That's weird. So like I said, there is there are two boxes. They are separate. But they're so well fitted inside, I'm scared to take it out because I can't get it back in. Uh, but let's have a look at this anyway. So there we go, here's Briggsy. Carefully open this one up. Let me just put that to one side for now. It's going to fall again, I know it is. So there we go, there's Briggsy. Oh, they've done a really good job with these. I mean, I was, I think these U2s, they are more expensive than your, your average sort of um, figurine, like Funko Pops and stuff. I, don't get me wrong, I love Funko Pops, but these are definitely more detailed. There's more, much more to them. I would argue they're definitely worth the extra money. And you can see... You know, it's, there's a lot of detail gone in there. They've done some really good work with the gold as well. It looks, it's not messy. The paint on it is very well applied. And unlike Funko Pops, they stand up. One of my pet hates of Funko Pops. 
I end up using blue, to, blue tack to stick my feet down. I know you can buy stands for them, but uh, should I really have to? Or should it just stand up? Right, let's move that one out of the way for a minute. <coughs> I'm saving the ghost ship till last, sorry. That's, that's my uh, most anticipated one. So let's open this up. Sorry if I'm off camera slightly. I have, a, I have bought a new uh, camera stand. Um, it's significantly higher than the other one, which is going to be great for when I'm unboxing bigger things. The only downside is, I can't quite tell how far out I've got it, so I hope this... Oh, that one came straight out, so there we go. Not sure why Briggsy wouldn't, but there we go. So that's what the packaging looks like on these. So you can just have it on the shelf like that, which I'm probably going to leave it in there like that. But I do like to get them out and have a look as well, so... What's this one say? They worshipped the great beast, the hungering one. Yeah. I hope they do some more of these and get the shrouded one as well. And some of the other ones, that'd be, that'd be quite cool. So once again, let me move them out of the way. I'll put it on the floor so it doesn't fall. That is really cool. <laughs> that is really good. I like that a lot. The detail as well, all those teeth. They're all, you know, like individual teeth. They're not, not just like a row of them that have just been painted then individually. Yeah. That is really good, that. Whoever does their character models is really, really talented. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's really good. So let's put Briggsy and Meg just there. Move them to one side. Move the drink to one side before I knock it over. And uh, right, where's the opening for this one? So this one's a slight exception to the rule. This one. So for a start, this one opens. On its well, it's the same box, but it's as you can see, it goes in sideways because it's longer because of the ship ship set, uh, ship size. So that's that, and let's see if we can slide this one out as well. Yeah, this one's coming out as well. I'm gonna have to have another look at Briggsy, see why Briggsy wouldn't come out. We put that out there. So straight away, you can see by the label there that's been caught as it went in the box glows so that's going to be a good one to see in the dark which we will test in a minute once we've got it out so there we go so let's have a look shall we nice packaging as always this one says beware the fleets of the damned there we go let's put that over there out of the way as well yeah. One thing straight away that strikes me as odd. Oh. Um, mine is broken. So there you go, uh, you two, straight away, that has snapped off the top. So that should be on there, like that. Unfortunately, mine is broken. So that is disappointing, but it's not a big problem. I can super glue that back on and it'll be fine, but what a shame. It's, it's always disappointing to, to do an unboxing to find out that the item is broken. So, <laughs> never mind. Just a bit disappointed. Anyway, I'll leave that to one side for now. There's no point in uh, messing around with that right now. So apart from the missing piece, you can see it was actually a really nice well, I'm not sure what, side, what kind of ship that's supposed to be, because it's only got two cannons. Looks like a galleon, but it's only got two cannons. <laughs> but I think I'm just splitting hairs here. It's really nice, though. The detail, again, is really good. I like the phantom, being, phantom ball being fired out of the uh, cannon. That's good. And, yeah. I think what we need to do now is see what it looks like in the dark, that one. Um, so... Just give me two seconds and let me try and oops. Go from 
the light for a minute. And then let's see what it looks like in the dark. Okay, so I'm gonna have to. Yeah, that's not that's not glowing at all. But then it's probably not. It's not really the right kind of room for this. There's a bit of light coming in, and I haven't got anything bright to shine on it. So what you will see now, I will have to edit in, is some photos and maybe a video of this at night. I will do it later and edit it in. So, there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. Okay, hello. And um, this is the second part to this video. So, as you've just seen, I uh, received everything in the last order except for one item. And, of course, as you've also seen in the update, that I also got a broken um, ghost ship. And, yeah, it's been replaced. I haven't received it yet, but the tracking says it's on its way. But I thought before I post the video, I would just update it with this. So, been looking forward to this as a gold hoarder on the Keel Hall podcast. This was uh, one of the ones I was particularly uh, excited to get. So, oh, do I even think this one needs? No, it doesn't. So, as you can tell, I'd already opened this at home to just double check which one it was. Because um, I wasn't going to come over here and do another video for the ghost ship. You twos, by the way, very helpful, wonderful people. Straight away, no problem whatsoever. They just dispatched out another one. All I had to do was just basically show them the... Uh, the packing information, um, which I've realized I've left on that box, so I might have to edit that out. <laughs> so there it is. So there is the final piece of this puzzle, which is the gold hoarder, Rathbone himself. And as you can see, the usual care and attention that's gone into this. I really do love these U2s as much as I, um, as much as I do like Funko Pops. These are just so much better made, and there's a lot more work and detail goes into them. Hence the reason they're more expensive. Flesh is weak, gold is strong. So there's, there's the little comment inside this one, as we've seen the other ones. And this one is apparently a rare exclusive. You just see that? Just check that. Yeah, there we go. Um, it wasn't, because I got it from U2s, which is unusual. <laughs> it wasn't rare, exclusive, rare store exclusive. But I'm not going to complain because it's here. So let's have a look at you. Oh, this one is nice. So there we go. Let me just put them there and there. So as you can see, beautiful, absolutely stunning work. I don't know if these are all hand painted or whether they're done by factory, you know, factory made. But they are really well done. They're really well painted, really well coloured. I'm not sure how they do it, but as you can tell, um, he is quite a quite a work of art. Now I do have the other gold hoarder statue, um, the Takaku to um, or whatever it's called. I can't, sorry, I can't pronounce it. Um, one of the original ones where they did. A Halo, Master Chief, a Gears, Marcus Phoenix, and a Gold Hoarder, Sea of Thieves. Still got that, and it's still in the box. So this feels quite nice to actually be able to take this one out without worrying about it too much, because I can put it back in. Really nice work. And yeah, I just thought I'd update the video with that one. So if anybody is interested, uh, I'll be listing all of the um, all the different things, all the different links where you can get these in the description below and if you enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe thank you very much and take care goodbye